Facebook. Hello. You need to do 10 before you get 3. You understand? If your co conversion rate, just now Nick talk about conversion rate. If your conversion rate is about maybe 10, you sign up 3, so that is your conversion rate. Now I want you to listen to me and not take photos. You know why? Because I just need your time with me. Okay, I, I actually attended this training. I paid 1800 more. Well, how much you paid? Nana, how much you paid? <laughs>
when uh, Nick mentioned about 60, 90, actually I don't even look at 60, 90 people a month. <laughs> That's a lot for me. <laughs> but if my sign up rate is 90%, I don't need I don't need to see 60 or 90. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. I don't need to have 10. <coughs> yes. I see 10 people and sign up 10. Good luck. Good. Yeah. <coughs> that should be your goal to increasing your sales. And I believe we all can do that with step back. Are you with me? Yep. Now, looking at this sales funnel, you should also apply the first category of consumers. How many of your consumers you are able to convert them to auto ship? You know, we are so good at selling bottles. They try. But how many of our consumers are on auto ship every month for the last three, four years? Uh, try converting it. See what is your ratio. Because your results will be different. The money comes in will be different. You understand what I'm saying? So you apply the sales funnel to work on really good numbers and that is uh, looking at how you can handle concerns <coughs> from a consumer. How do you convince them that auto ship is the way to go? What is one a very easy way to convert them to auto ship? Anyone? You sell to them at 260. Cheaper? Yes. Yep. Auto ship is wholesale. Yes. If you sell at 185, you will never, you will never be able to convert them to auto ship. Am I right? Yes. yes. 260, nothing less. Because if you sell to them at 185, they'll say, ah, I'll buy from you. It's okay. Then what happens? You have to end up sending the product, uh, collecting money, and you're going to be very busy with that. So instead of working on your conversion ratios for business part partners, you're busy, busy with things that is not going to be very productive because you're not going to make money. Understand? The third group of people is very interesting to look at. I just want to spend your time. How do you look at converting your business partners to diamond? Anyone interested to know how? Yes. <laughs> Of course. What are the stages? What do you think are the stages? Say you have a lot of business partners coming in. These are your fast cuts. Huh? So what is your first funnel? First layer? Qualifying. What do you think is the first layer when they come in? Qualifying. Huh? Your first 90 days. All directors. <laughs> Actually, I never talk to him, you know. I don't know why certain things are talk about the same thing. Right? No affection. <laughs> no affection. Okay. What happened when we first joined? The 90 days is a critical part. Getting the person started correctly is your first final. You get two days correctly, then what do you think is the second final? I feel it's really within the 90 days, or some people it's 60 days. Huh? We have people who Director. break through it within even 30 to 60, like they don't take so long. But assuming they take 90 days. I think the real second layer of funnel is about making decision and setting goal to be a triple diamond or diamond. This is a one layer that you need to focus on. The other one, almost to the end, is what? What do you think? Hmm? You will come through a lot of challenges, I'm afraid. Yes, it's part of leadership and part of this business. They will face challenges as they go through the leadership levels. And finally, reaching, what do you think is the final stop? What do you think is the final stop? <coughs> the result? Achieving <laughs> 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 their dreams. Like our friend. <coughs> now where is he? 
Disneyland. Florida, Florida. <laughs> Disneyland. <laughs> Pergi jumpa Mickey Mouse. He has more fun with the funnel. You could see that. And and do you know the sales funnel, there are processes to support it? You know how you get people into first 30 days? You need to bring them into some... <coughs> To strengthen them so that they don't drop out, I feel that the first time they join you, they need to attend a BOB. I would always target them to attend a BOB. The other process that support this, I would say is BBS. I've seen a lot of people making decisions at BBS to make it happen or APEC. Would you agree yes. that people make decisions at these conventions yep. that they want to be a diamond, they want to be a triple diamond? Yep. And what do you think this helps? What do you think the process helps this this layer of funding? Do those. Huh? Coaching. Coaching. Your coaching must be really strong and intact. Because as your leaders go through the funnel, they will face a lot of challenges and unless you have a very strong coaching system in place or training, coaching is normally more powerful like, because one-to-one, -one, you find that challenges is not an issue. And what do you think supports the final funnel? What do you think support? All our what? <laughs> incentive trips. Get them onto a lifestyle trip, they will never turn back. Hello? Are you with me? Yes. Yeah. Sales funnel. This is the conversion. Same, you look at how to convert your consumers to auto ship is you look at all the processes and you look at what in the system will help you and back you and you work on it. Now, if your ratio is not good between certain layers, you need, like presenting is not good, they always drop out. The moment you present, they, they pick up. Yeah. Oh, you've got to learn how to do better presentation. Uh -huh. But most of the time, our first 30, 60 days, our upline help us. But you've got to learn yourself. Okay? Because your upline is not going to be you all the time. So you need to brush up your presenting skills. How to handle objections. So now, all right, so there are two ways to improve your sales. One is to increase your numbers. The second one is to increase your conversion rate. Okay? Yep. Can you see? Yep. Okay, now, next. Why a customer don't buy from you? Why a customer refuse to buy? Okay. I'm going to have it on the board. I need you all to give me some ideas. You want to learn how to manage objections, right? Yes. Do you all have objections? Yes. No, but I only have sales objections. Hey, objections are good. Say after me, objections are good. good. No objections, no, no good. good. Them. I don't care, not. No. Yeah. So, objections are? Good. Good. Okay, let me have it. Come on. What are all the objections that you have faced? Huh? Can't afford. Huh? Can't afford. Yes. Expensive. Expensive. <laughs> let, let me think about it. Uh, Must ask husband. Must ask husband. Don't try the product. Or why? <laughs> let me think about it. So interested. So many products already at home. Too many products. Just bought all the product last week. Too many. I got ten children. Ah, let me think about it. Let me think about it. Wait for my money to 
come in from the project. Phobia in taking capsule. Phobia, phobia. I'm healthy. I'm healthy. I'm healthy. I don't need lah. I don't need lah. I'm healthy. I'm healthy. My supplement is healthy. Healthy. My supplements are sponsored. My supplements are sponsored. My supplements. I get free one. My supplements or my wife take care. Give me green ones, no.
Phobia. Phobia. No trust. Okay. I don't need. That don't need. I can get free. No need. Uh, I don't trust you. I don't trust MLM also. No under the second one. And cannot swallow this. I think it's excuse. <laughs> okay. Really so cannot swallow. if you look at this, the first two, you probably need to KIB. Okay. Don't freak out because somebody has no money and refuse to sign up. Hello, no money then can help all. Okay? You don't go and pay for them alone. Okay? That will be quite cool. Then end up you no money. But, but I think some say no money, but that's also an excuse. Yes. yes. You so you need to money. ask further. Yeah. So but I'm saying that assuming we size up and we realize that it's really no money uh, after uh, asking a few questions, you probably will know that it's no money. Now for the other four, alright? is you can sell and you need to sell okay <coughs> this is what i learned from my sales training and i think it's so so powerful that you need to uh, find out whether the first two is really uh, something that is a uh, real objection now so for sales huh, if you're looking at closing sales it's about overcoming these four barriers of why people don't buy you understand the behavior, the science of it. Why people don't buy is only because of these four barriers. So we have what we call the sales mountain. Actually, must be here. Copyright. <coughs> no, no copy. I can copy. I, I trade under them. <laughs> Alright, the sales mountain talks about overcoming four barriers. If you can handle these four barriers, you can close all sales. <laughs> So what are the four barriers? More than most The mindset uh, of the people who say you don't trust this category. What is the mindset? I don't know you. Do you know people who join because they like you? Yes. People don't join you if they don't like you. Yes. It's so true, right? Yes. Do you join any business if you don't like that person? No way. Yeah. Bye bye, Charlie. Bye -bye. I don't like Nana. Hey. Ah, so you think? <laughs> No need. What is the uh, mindset about no need? No need, no need means they do not see the need. They do not require. They say I don't need this product. No fee. I don't think it will help me. That's the mindset. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's suitable for me. No hurry. I don't think uh, I'm, it's, it's, it's important for me now. And uh, I think I want to just think about it. Okay. So this is the mindset. <coughs> And you need to address these four areas. Alright? How? It's part of your sales process. We call it the sales mountain. So you need to build rapport. So closing sales uh, is not just uh, learn how to close sales. Hello. You must learn from right from the bottom. Build rapport. When you first meet your prospect or when somebody brings somebody in front of you, you need to know a little bit about the background. So within 60 seconds, you can build the rapport. I always ask the downline, who is this person? What does he do? You know? Is he say, ask a few questions so that before you do a presentation, you know exactly a bit about him. Understand? And within a very short time, you can build rapport. No need. You need to identify the needs. You need to what? How do you identify the needs? How do you identify the needs? Ask questions. You have to learn. It's the art of asking questions that you will know what your customer, customer needs. Are you with me? Yeah. Ask questions. Alright? What about no fit and no help? You need to do a presentation that can that you can see what is the benefit. You need to present the benefits. And what else? No hurry. You need to handle the objections. Because some of these could be just excuses. So in the sales mountain, there are about six steps for you to overcome four barriers. Actually, it starts with preparation. You must have your tools with you when you start a presentation. And if you want to close sales and you don't have a form, can forget about closing sales. <laughs> Hello, a lot of new people come and oh, when we close, nothing will be So the online will to take this one out. <laughs> Fifth step, 
handle objection and the last step is actually closing. Okay? Closing. So needs is very, very important for you to uh, look at. All sales is a change. Why do I say that? All sales. Uh, this people, they All sales is a change. What change? Change from your pocket to my pocket. That is the change. All sales is a change. From whose pocket? My. Your pocket to my, my pocket. Online. You know, all human beings are very resistant to change. So you try to sell something and you think that it's not a change, sorry. So, sorry, people Bob. are resistant to change and you need to master this skill that to sell is to influence. To sell is to influence. What is influence? <coughs> what is influence? A try. Influence Bobby. is to get People to do what you want them to do. Ooh. As simple as that. Influence is to get them to do what you want them to do. Hypnotize them. How do you do it? 
You have to understand that there are two emotions involved. People buy for just two emotions and you need to, you have to inflict it. This is very emotional. Now people make decisions emotionally. They do that all the time. But they carry out their decision rationally. But most of the time they make decisions emotionally, but they carry out the decision rationally. That means that once they come, they could join you because some emotions, they like you for some reason, and they come through. And, but after that, the second layer of the funnel, when you make decisions and really do the business, that's where your rational, your logic comes in. It makes a lot of sense for you to do the business. Understand? Yeah. So what are the two emotions? The first one, Green. What is the benefit for that person to do the business? The gain. If there's no gain for me, why should I do the business? Would you all be in this room this afternoon? Nope. If you think Samtech would not help you, I mean financially or time freedom or whatever, you know. Yep. Definitely, right? Yep. If not, you won't be here. So the first emotion is green.